everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back on site again today, getting ready for my dad returning tomorrow, bringing his brain that has all the electrical designs up in his head uh, with him so we can continue working on the rough electrical stuff. As you see behind you over by the electrical panel, there's like an octopus of wires all just hanging down there. As my dad said yesterday, we're getting close to being done. We're about 75% by his estimation uh, done with all the work we need to do before the rough electrical. So what I'm trying to focus on is anything that I can do uh, without his brain here, that'll get us ready for that rough electrical. And one of the things that's missing is the air exchange unit. It's going to get mounted up on that uh, blank wall. It doesn't have any foam on it yet. Uh, it's going to be mounted up there. Uh, we, we're going to be needing to run electricity to it and everything. So that's part of the rough electrical. The unit I'm going to be using is right here. I can just read it off. It's a Panasonic unit. It's an FV10VE1. It's a pretty uh, efficient unit. It doesn't use very much electricity. So I'm kind of looking forward to installing that in. I, I'm going to integrate it into this... Uh, the vent system that I have that's grabbing air all the way at the top, pumping it down through the floor. I think it might just replace the fan that I have here. That fan will just kind of be a backup uh, because it seems like the unit can be used where you don't have to necessarily be exchanging air outside. Uh, it could be run just as a circulator. Uh, that seems like that's a setting on it. So it seems kind of nice. I think you know we'll want to be getting some fresh air uh, from time to time just for health reasons. And also we're looking at that radon issue that we have here. Obviously we're going to want to be getting fresh air in if there is some kind of a slow intrusion of radon. You know we got to feel that out with the uh, testing unit that's going to be here. Uh, in a couple of days, I guess it's going to come and I can start doing some more tests with that. Uh, but anyway, what I'm working on is getting uh, these walls ready to accept the air exchanger. This one, I'm going to be putting a little more foam on and then putting Luon uh, plywood across. The Luon sheets are back behind you to your left. And it's going to be a lot like this wall here. As you can see, uh, I was putting all that 2 and 3 inch scrap and like packing material into the walls. Then sheathing it all with an extra two inches of foam, and then Luon panels across that. I'm using these uh, little pieces of scrap to hold down the Luon panels uh, wherever there are studs. Instead of just screwing right into the Luon, I feel like the, the screws would just kind of like pop right through the Luon. This is kind of like one gigantic washer to hold the whole panel down. So I'm using these scraps to kind of hold down, and it gives it kind of a, a sharp, clean look. So that's what I'm working on today. Uh, my dad's coming again tomorrow. We're going to get you know, a bunch more wiring done, and I don't know, maybe it's another week or so, and then, then we're ready for the uh, electrician to come in, finish up all the little things he needs to do, then we get a rough electrical inspection, and that's going to be big, because that once that's done, we can sheathe all these walls, that huge pile of interior wall boards can all go up to all the uh, walls upstairs that are all open, it's really going to open things up, we're going to be able to do the sheathing on the outside of the house, a lot of things are waiting on that rough electrical. That's it, thanks for watching.